Welcome to 4 Daily News. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. For decades, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, their dominance seemingly unshakable. These two giants set the pace for global aviation, shaping the way the world traveled and connecting continents with their fleets. But on December 7, 2025, a seismic shift is underway, marking the dawn of a new era in aviation history. The catalyst? China's C919 passenger jet, a symbol of technological independence and national ambition, representing years of relentless research and development. American restrictions on advanced engine exports were meant to slow China down, aiming to keep critical technology out of reach. Instead, they sparked a breakthrough, fueling a surge of innovation and determination within China's borders. China's aviation industry surged, achieving what few thought possible, a homegrown jet engine designed and built entirely by Chinese engineers. This isn't just a commercial rivalry. It's a geopolitical turning point, reshaping alliances and the balance of power in the skies. The ability to design and power its own aircraft signals China's industrial might and challenges Western supremacy, sending ripples through the global economy. The c 919s journey is a lesson. Attempts to constrain a determined nation can ignite innovation, driving progress in unexpected ways. The quiet hum of a new jet engine in Shanghai now echoes in Washington and Brussels, signaling a shift that cannot be ignored. The world of aviation and global power is being rewritten before our eyes as new players rise to challenge the old order. China's quest for a large passenger jet was about more than pride. It was a story of ambition, resilience, and the desire to stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's leading aviation powers. At its core, the effort was about breaking dependency on foreign technology and asserting national capability in a field long dominated by Western giants. The C9Y9, launched in 2008 by Comac, was a bold step forward. Yet, to get airborne quickly, China made a calculated decision to rely on Western engines and avionics, accepting short-term reliance for long-term gain. But, as US-China tensions escalated, Washington responded by tightening export controls, specifically targeting high-performance jet engines and critical components. The hope was clear, cripple China's ambitions before they could take flight. Yet, the risk was equally clear. Such restrictions could push China to innovate faster, accelerating its drive for technological independence. When these restrictions hit, China faced a looming crisis. Hundreds of c 9 tines risked being grounded, unable to fly without access to foreign engines. The response was swift and decisive. The domestic CJ-1000A engine program was elevated to a national priority, with resources and attention pouring in from the highest levels. Engineers and scientists across the country were mobilized, united by a single mission – achieve self-sufficiency in jet engine technology before foreign supplies could be cut off completely. The restrictions, intended to halt China's progress, instead ignited a race against time, fueling determination and innovation at an unprecedented pace. China's aviation industry was galvanized, transforming what was once a vulnerability into a powerful rallying point for national pride and unity. The stakes had grown beyond commercial competition. They were now existential, touching on sovereignty, security, and the nation's future. The world watched closely as China doubled down on its aerospace ambitions, determined to chart its own course in the skies. Despite sanctions, the C-919 made its commercial debut in May 2023, flying domestic routes and building confidence. Orders soared over 1,200 by early 2025, driven by Beijing's push for state-owned carriers to support the homegrown jet. Boeing and Airbus still dominated, but the replacement cycle now favored the C-999. Comac ramped up production, aiming for over 100 aircraft per year by decade's end. International skepticism lingered, especially without US or EU certification. Yet, every C919 that rolled off the line strengthened China's industrial base. The protected domestic market gave Comac the runway it needed to mature. The C999 was no longer just a project, it was a movement reshaping the industry. In November 2025, China's Aero Engine Corporation announced a breakthrough. The CJ-1000A engine had powered a C9199 test flight. The flight was flawless, 
with performance matching the imported Leap 1C. Years of intense development, massive funding, and top talent had paid off. Advanced computing and material science solved challenges that once seemed insurmountable. The CJ-1000A wasn't just a copy. It featured unique innovations and marked true independence. Certification was fast-tracked, with plans to transition the C-999 fleet to domestic engines by 2026. The American strategy of containment had backfired. China now held the missing piece for aerospace sovereignty. Comac could offer airlines a jet free from foreign sanctions. The leash was broken. China's aviation ambitions were unleashed. The global industry felt the shockwaves instantly. The CJ-1000A's success is a game-changer for global aviation economics. Western suppliers, especially CFM International, face massive revenue losses as China's market shifts inward. For China, a domestic engine industry means skilled jobs, innovation, and trillions kept at home. Beijing can now export aerospace technology, offering alternatives to countries seeking independence from Western suppliers. The C999's flight with a homegrown engine is a source of national pride and proof of China's technological ascent. Western companies must now confront a new reality. China is no longer just a market, but a formidable competitor. The old model of globalized supply chains, with the West at the top, is being upended. The duopoly is broken. The industry's future is uncertain. The world's aviation map is being redrawn. China's aerospace leap is reshaping global politics. The U.S. strategy of technological choke points has faltered, forcing a rethink in Washington. China is now a technological peer, weakening America's leverage. For Europe, COMEX rise is both a challenge and an opportunity. Airbus faces a new rival, but the EU gains strategic autonomy. The duopoly is gone. A multipolar industry emerges. Developing nations now see China as a viable partner, free from U.S. sanctions. Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative can bundle aircraft, financing, and infrastructure, expanding its influence. The world is fragmenting into competing technological blocks, U.S.-EU standards versus Chinese standards. Airlines and nations may soon have to choose sides. The dream of seamless global aviation is giving way to a new era of competition. The skies are now a geopolitical battleground. Experts across the globe are stunned by China's rapid progress in aviation technology, a development that is sending shockwaves through the industry. Dr. Richard Abu Lafia, a leading analyst, calls the CJ-1000 days timeline monumental, years ahead of expectations. He notes that such acceleration was previously thought impossible, highlighting the scale of China's achievement. Western firms must now urgently reassess their strategies. The competitive threat is no longer distant, but immediate and pressing, forcing a complete rethink of their market approach. Li Wei, a Beijing aeronautics professor, says U.S. restrictions forced China to innovate, forging a stronger, more resilient industry that is now capable of challenging global leaders. A European aerospace executive admits, we've lost the next generation of the Chinese market, sales, data, and influence. The consequences, they warn, will be felt for years to come. The West's strategy of indispensability has failed. Now, it must compete harder than ever, investing in innovation and efficiency to keep pace with China's momentum. Regulatory hurdles remain. Will the FAA or ESA certify the C-919? Or will political tensions complicate the process even further? If not, COMAX reach stays regional. If so, the global market opens, potentially reshaping the balance of power in commercial aviation. Western regulators face a dilemma. Uphold safety standards or risk accusations of protectionism, a choice that could define international relations in aviation. The next battleground is certification and the stakes are enormous, with billions of dollars and global influence hanging in the balance. The industry's future will be shaped by these pivotal choices. The race is on, and the outcome will echo for decades. The C919's rise signals a new era of great power competition, fought in labs and factories, not just on battlefields. China's breakthrough shows the limits of sanctions. Instead of containment, they fueled innovation. The duopoly's end could benefit consumers, spurring lower fares and faster innovation. Boeing and Airbus must now compete harder, 
invest more, and respond to a new rival. The C919's 919 journey proves no nation holds a monopoly on innovation. Ambitious countries can close technological gaps faster than ever. The world grows more complex and competitive, but also more open to new possibilities. The story of the C919 is about the shifting balance of power in the 21st century. It's not just China's story, it's a global one. The future of flight and of global order is being rewritten. We stand at an inflection point. The CJ-1000A's roar marks a new chapter in globalization and the end of Western aviation dominance. The attempt to contain China has only fueled its rise. The competition among Boeing, Airbus, and Comac will reshape trade, politics, and technology. Will this fragmentation spur innovation or deepen divides? The answer depends on choices made by leaders, engineers, and regulators. The C919 story is a metaphor for our times, ambition, unintended consequences, and relentless change. The next phase will define the future of industry and power. What's your perspective? Will this lead to greater innovation or a more divided world? Join the conversation. Our shared future is up in the air.